a federal judge in New York has approved Donald Trump's $92 million bond to cover a pending jury award over the latest charge that he defamed writer E. Jean Carroll. The decision came on the heels of Trump again verbally attacking the credibility of Carroll's rape allegations against him over the weekend, News.com has learned. The bond was formally approved on Tuesday, March 12 by Judge Louis A. Kaplan following mutual consent from legal representatives regarding its necessity. Trump's attorneys notified the court in Manhattan that he had posted $91,630,000 as he challenges the January decision awarding Carroll $83 million in defamation damages. The bond amount represents 110% of the judgment against Trump, which he was required to put up ahead of the appeals process. If Trump loses his appeal, Carroll may collect the payment from the insurance company, Chubb, that provided the bond. Chubb CEO Evan Greenberg reportedly wrote a letter, obtained by CNBC, to the company's investors, customers and brokers that said the decision to supply the bond had nothing to do with the underlying merits of the appeal or favoring any other parties in the case. When Chubb issues an appeal bond, it isn't making judgments about the claims, even when the claims involve alleged reprehensible conduct, Greenberg reportedly wrote in the letter. As the surety, we don't take sides, Greenberg said. It would be wrong for us to do so and we are in no way supporting the defendant. We are supporting and are part of the justice system plumbing included in this case. He also said the company was protecting itself by requiring the bond be fully collateralized. If the bond is called, then Chubb takes the collateral which is intended to make us whole, Greenberg wrote. We hardly support or subsidize defendants or take one for the team. Trump had tapered his public criticisms of Carroll after the jury's decision in January, which came after another $5 million was awarded to the writer by a Manhattan jury in May of the previous year. At a presidential campaign rally in Georgia over the weekend, and again in a Monday television appearance, however, the former president reiterated his denial of Carroll's allegations that he raped her in a luxury department store dressing room in 1996 near Trump Tower. Carroll's lawyer indicated a third defamation lawsuit could be filed against Trump if he continued with these remarks, according to the Associated Press. The jury had previously determined Trump defamed Carroll in 2022 and engaged in sexual misconduct towards her in 1996, although it did not find evidence to support her rape allegation per New York law. However, the presiding judge later stated the jury's findings aligned with certain legal definitions of rape in other jurisdictions. Carroll initially brought her allegations against Trump to public attention in a memoir published in 2019.